exhausted. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we are actually going to be talking a little bit about rosy boas. So I know a lot of you guys are here for tarantulas, but some of you are also here for my snakes and this video is especially for you guys. I get a lot of questions about Willow, my rosy boa. I actually show her a lot. She's really docile. Rosy boas are actually my favorite kind of snake and that is why I have three now. I did actually get a new rosy boa and I wanted to introduce you guys to him, but I thought I would also take this opportunity to talk a little bit more in depth about rosy boas because I've been requested this a handful of times, especially for people who are keeping tarantulas and kind of want to branch out into snakes. They always ask me like what the best beginner snake is. Hands down, I'm going to say that the rosy boa is definitely the best beginner snake to keep. I also really like corn snakes. That is what we actually started with, but rosy boas are super docile and they are really easy to house and care for and they live a really long time. So they're actually one of my favorites combined with like how beautiful they are and their different coloration choices which we'll get into in a minute but yeah this is willow and she is my adult rosy boa so she's probably not really going to get any larger than this she is kind of the more basic morph of rosy boas they typically come in this color when you find them but i have a couple more unique patterns so we're going to talk about my new addition and a little bit about care i'm going to show you their enclosures that i keep them in and i'm also going to feed them and see if they'll eat so let's just get right into it so this is Willow's enclosure. It's actually really simple and we are going to put her back in here even though she doesn't want to go in here right now. <laughs> but yeah, this is her enclosure. I just have a water dish which I fill up probably like once a week. I actually do let it dry out because they are a pretty dry species. And then I also have this hide, which this is the one that has the heat mat under it. And then over here, I just kind of put this little wood thing together and as you see she has a little burrow right there so yeah these snakes actually do like to burrow and when she does burrow she actually will go in this hole and then she'll get behind this background right here and she actually will like lay down on the back of it so that's a place that she will hide and sometimes we won't see her for a while so yeah her enclosure is pretty simple she could use more substrate i need to actually go ahead and change her substrate here soon but it usually flattens out after a while and that's kind of how you know she's ready for a change but normally i will fill the substrate a little bit higher than this and they do like to burrow a lot so i definitely would recommend doing that as for her color she is like a rusty red and silver and she has copper eyes Eyes. If you want to look at her eyes, they're like so pretty and coppery. Get a little bit closer. She really likes to explore and stuff too. So it's really cool to have such an interactive animal and such an inquisitive animal. There she goes into her little burrow. But yeah, this is Willow's enclosure. And we're actually going to try to feed her really quick. I don't know if she's going to eat because she actually just ate about two weeks ago. But we can go ahead and try. She's one of those snakes though that sometimes we have to leave the feeder in there with her so i guess we'll probably just end up having to do that with her all right so we're actually just going to leave the mouse right there and i'll check back later to see if she takes it i actually pulled beetlejuice's enclosure out because it's pretty easy to bring out it's actually just a 10 gallon half tank this is the hide that i actually keep the heat under and then this is just like the other hide that she uses sometimes. Here's her water bowl, which she really likes to get dirty. She doesn't really sit in it, but she'll kind of slide through it. And she, oh, she just shed, that's awesome. And it looks like a really good one too, wow. It's such a good shed. It's all in one piece, it's great. But yeah, this is her and she's actually my favorite morph. She is a black and silver, hence the name Beetlejuice. It's like super fitting. She's still pretty small, but she has grown significantly since we got her. And her eyes are black, while Willow's are copper, if you remember. There we go. So if you wanna see, her eyes are just so cute and they're black. She's just like my favorite coloring for sure. And I was so excited when I got her because I wanted this coloring so bad. And we can actually go ahead and try to feed her. She just shed, so I kind of feel like she probably will eat. And usually she's like a crazy eater. She's nothing like Willow, like she'll take down almost anything. Oh no, wait, come back. All right, let's see what she thinks. Definitely interested. 
Yes. <laughs> She's such a crazy eater. And yeah, we'll just go ahead and like leave her to that because I don't want to stress her out anymore since I just pulled her out. But yeah, that is her enclosure. And yep, we're going to get her some fresh water. And next we can talk about Java, my newest addition that I am so happy I got. I cannot wait to show you guys. So let's get into that now. Okay, so this is Java's enclosure, the new rosy boa. And as you see, I've got a lot of aspen. This is like a really good amount for it. And I also have two hides. One is this big piece of cork bark, and then the other is this little rock hide and then a plant. And I've also got a water bowl as well. So yeah, this enclosure is just like a regular 10 gallon. I'm gonna have to dig them out a little bit. So this is Java and Java is a little bit more of a cream color with a brown stripe pattern going down and java also has these really pretty kind of yellowy eyes so every single rosy boa has a different color eyes out of the ones that i'm keeping which is really cool because they're all three rosy boas but they all three look different and have different colors so as you see java is actually pretty small still and i think beetlejuice was about the same size when we got her so he is actually a male for sure i bought him as a male and willow is a female i'm not sure about beetlejuice but i think she's female but yeah it's really cool i'm super happy to have another new addition and if you look at the bottom of java you can see these like freckles so they all kind of have a little bit of a pattern like this but java's looks like little coffee grounds which is why the name java is like so fitting and works out so well and we can go ahead and try to feed java now too oh that's a good thing we have our tail wrapped around my finger <laughs> very nice and as you see they do a really nice coil when they eat too like it's a really good feeding response i'm not really sure why willow doesn't really eat that much because these two are little monsters when it comes to pinkies but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and put java away with my other two and let him eat in peace so i hope you guys really liked looking at my rosy boas and i hope this was helpful if you're thinking about getting one and you're not sure how to house it when they're small like this a 10 gallon is really good it's totally fine and even as adults i hear that 10 gallons is okay but i prefer to go a little bit larger and yeah they're really simple to keep as long as they have water probably like once a week or so and regular meals Meals, they'll thrive they're super easy um, of course you want to keep them on a heating mat with a thermostat but yeah they're super easy to care for and I really love them they're just like the best kind of snake to keep okay so I hope you guys enjoyed this video like it if you did subscribe if you're not and watch me. don't forget that I'm an Instagram that I use probably way too much it's at tarantula.cat you can go follow me there I also have a patreon which is linked down below and if you guys have any rosy boa tips or questions I invite you guys to comment those down below because if you have a question I can try to answer it or another rosy boa keeper could probably try to answer it and yeah I just would like my comments to also serve as a good kind of resource to browse as well if you're interested in keeping rosy boas so all right, I will see you guys soon and I hope you guys are all doing well and staying safe.